For your XP pen to work at its best, we need to install the drivers. Go to xp-pen.com slash download. Find the Artist 12 driver in the list of devices. Scroll down and be sure to choose the Windows official driver and download it. Navigate to your downloads to find the zip driver file and double click to go into it. Then double click to install the exe file. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process and restart your computer. When your computer starts up, right-click on your desktop and choose Display Settings. Make sure your displays are set to Extend. Click the monitor that represents your XP pen and make sure the scale is set to 100%. This will make sure your pen lines up with your cursor or brush on your screen. Now, let's check out the tablet settings. Click the pen tablet icon in the system tray. Start by choosing which monitor you want your pen cursor to show up on. I'm going to stick with monitor 2 since my computer display settings consider the XP pen monitor 2. With that in place, let's calibrate by first tapping on the calibrate button and tapping your pen in the center of each crosshair on the screen of the XP pen. If you're left-handed, you can tap on the display settings button and then tap on the 180 degree button in the rotate settings. Then physically pick up the XP pen and rotate it 180 degrees. If you choose to move the XP pen to the left side of your computer, you'll also want to go into your window settings and rearrange the location of your second monitor. You can change the button settings for the button on the pen and the pen pressure sensitivity, but I find the defaults work really well. You're probably asking what on earth the half glove is for. Other than cutting edge style, you can use it to keep the surface free from the oils of your hands by wearing it when drawing. So remember to take care of your XP pen by wiping off dust with a microfiber cloth and utilizing the drawing glove. Now that you're set up, Get out there and start creating your materials. If you have any questions, contact Deb or Michelle in the Teaching and Learning Center. And thanks for watching.